hey guys Rayon here in this video we're going to move on with the tutorial series um, the main thing I'm going to be focusing on is diagnostics and repair of your hosts so since the last video I played for just a few minutes I did a few more interactions and I've leveled up to level 5 and I have unlocked a few things so let me just sort of quickly show you around first of all um, I've got something achieved over here. Ah, this is the auto task. This is something very easy to just forget about these auto tasks. So just try to remember to just have those going all the time. They refresh every six hours. So every six hours you can go and do a whole load of them all over again. Now a building has unlocked and if we have a look it's in two sections. We've got Delos which is the underground and it shows you what you need, you know, the control room for each thing and the park itself. This has unlocked something called Journeys. Now Journeys is um, something quite different. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build it and then I'm going to forget about it. Um, and I will explain that another time. So I'll just go through that. It's going to take you through the game but like I said it's a bit complicated. So I'm just going to click through and ignore it. So that's what I'm saying about Journeys for the moment. So something else which is unlocked is over on the left hand side we have a new tab here and this is events. So it shows you the Delos company newsletter and we've got various little icons here showing what's new. So if it says buy now obviously it's wanting you to spend money. If it says play now it's an event and it will show you what you need. So events I've only been playing this game for a little while, but from what I can see, there's always some kind of event going on, and it's something where you can earn extra rewards. There appears to be two main kinds. One is where it's a kind of a public event, like we have here. It has a leaderboard, which means that you are competing against all the other people that play the game. And so here I am at level five. I'm not ranked because I haven't started. We have to earn these trophies. And you can see the number one player up here. This is the employee ID. We don't have names or anything in this game. It's all just anonymous employee IDs. He has over 100,000 trophies. I have zero. Click on the rewards and it will tell you what you can earn. So your personal goal means... You can earn this set of rewards here regardless of what anyone else in the game does. So if you get 9,000 trophies before the end of the event, um, you will get all of these. And I won't go into all of what they are. We'll explain those as we go through the tutorial series. But we've got this public section as well, which is the leaderboard. If you appear somewhere in this tier, you will... Re um, you learn these rewards. So tier one means like the top players. I don't know what, what it is. It should somewhere else. I think it might have been the other game. Oh, here we go. Rank one. That means the actual number one player. So only one person can get this. And he'll earn all of these things. Um, and then here. Here we go. So if, if we go down. So if, you, if you're anywhere in the top 1,000 players, you'll earn all of these rewards. If you're somewhere in the top 20%, you learn these, top 80, top 100. So anyone that does anything in the event will at least get this. So it's worth having a look through those. So I'm not going to go through all of these. Actually, I'm just going to click on them just to get rid of... Oh, they're still there. They'll have to sit there and bug me. I'll have a look at that off camera. Okay, so I did some interactions. Now I'm going to see what rewards this gives me um, I want to see if a couple of things pop up and then I'm going to explain some more stuff so I'm just going to quickly go through these and see if anything interesting happens right here so he got something called a reverie. Now this is something you can't use yet, not until your control room is, I believe, level 15. But sometimes you get extra rewards and it usually happens when you have a very high interaction level. So this is where I've used Teddy on a level 1 guest, the hats matched. So that's where you get the, 
the good chance to get the good rewards and quite often you can get a host code and that is you need host codes and you'll see why when we come to upgrading so I'll collect that and let's come over to the bank complete these two okay nothing too interesting there all right so we're level five what I'm going to do now is I am going to upgrade the control room and this is going to unlock three things a diagnostics room a body shop and a new building sheriff in Sweetwater 250 and it takes less than a minute so I can go ahead and do that here so there we go now the, it's now going to give you a tutorial so I'm just going to click through these and just explain it to you instead right so if we have a look now at this icon we have three buildings so we have one in the park this is a new building where the guests can interact it's a sheriff and if we have a look these three different roles which can be um, sort of requested here or performed here one is a purple one um, I don't remember the names of them sorry but if we notice these two are locked you can upgrade the buildings but again we'll cover that in another video but we'll just go ahead and build that okay okay now this one's going to take 10 minutes but that's okay because we don't need that for this video if I come back over here what I'm interested in are these two the diagnostics and body shops this is what I want to go through now you can choose sort of where it goes um, can't put it down in this one the red one because it's too small so I'll put it there and body shop put that there actually that's not where I wanted them but I'll worry about them later okay so I am going to pause the video until these are built okay these two rooms are built now I've actually moved them around because um, I put them in the wrong place I want them the same layout as my other game was going to get very confusing so at the top here we have a diagnostics room so let me show you something I have done an interaction over here in Mariposa with Teddy let's see what happens all seems good so far click collect ah oh God, level up Oh, no, do not want to rate. Go away. Right, here we go. The host glitched. What happened? Your host glitched from overuse. Send host to diagnostics to improve mental health. So, if we ignore that, I'm going to come over to my roster. We have a look at Teddy. He's all in red here. He's glitched out. He's unable to be used. Now, have a look here at these arrows this is what's called a glitch risk now this Carmen over here she's green this is a newly manufactured Carmen and you can see the glitch risk is 0% um, same as Emmett now this one Emmett he is yellow his glitch risk is 10% every time you do an interaction it can go up this Carmen hers is 25 it's a darker orange this Carmen is at 100 and that's what Teddy was which is why I used him to demonstrate this if we don't fix her she will glitch on the next one now it still completes the interaction as you saw but it means that then she's out of action okay so to to fix the glitch here we have this room diagnostics now before I do that I'm just going to quickly come over to oh well, we've got another one of the auto tasks I'm remembering to do these now objectives so as you start to unlock new things you'll get new series of objectives come up and you, you end up getting a whole ton of these so just completing the construction gives the first one so I'm going to click collect on that first and that now here we go yes 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 
Repair one host. Oh, sorry, that's a different one. <laughs> that's the body shop. So it wants us to repair a host. I will have to come back to that in a moment. Where is the other one? Here we go. Diagnostics. Run a diagnostic on any host. So in the diagnostics room, there are two things we can do. We can diagnose a host that has a a risk to glitch and then we can sort of fix someone who's already glitched so here I'm gonna pick um, the one with the actually I'm just gonna pick one that's green you can diagnose anyone the see here it only takes a few seconds the higher the risk the longer it takes if you leave them to the point where they have actually glitched it will take longer so here we get the little tick saying she's done and that has completed the quest. This tells you there to check the glitch risk. So that's completed my objective. We'll collect that. So now it wants us to run. Oh, it's going out. See, the, oh, did you see why you find those annoying? Because they just come up above what I'm trying to do. So the next part of this is to run five diagnostics. This will continue. You get more. And this is what I'm saying about the objectives. You just play naturally and you'll just comp complete them. So I wouldn't sort of say, oh, I really have to go and do some diagnostics. You'll just do it as you play. Okay, so I'm going to go and fix Teddy. Um, actually, no, I'm not. I'm... Okay, when they say unavailable, that means he's busy. So I'm going to do this Emmet here. And we'll notice that he takes a bit longer now. He's just over a minute. And that's because he already has a risk. So something else I'm going to touch on in here in this video is gems I haven't talked about the gems yet and I haven't spent any this is the first place I am going to spend my gems when you first build this room I've only got one slot I have to wait for Emmett here to be diagnosed before I can diagnose or fix someone else now I want to fix Teddy the higher the star the longer they'll take and the higher the glitch risk, the longer they'll take. Because he's actually glitched out, he's going to take a while. So I don't really want to have to wait. And so you can unlock more slots. And in my opinion, this is a very good, um, a good use of gems. So the first slot is going to cost me 40. I have 175. So that's all good. Add new slot. Yes. The next slot ooh, will be 90 gems. I'll just leave it at 2 for now. So let's do someone else. Right, so I'm going to click on Teddy. And if I click on him, it's going to take half an hour to fix him. See, and this is in real time. This is half an hour of your time waiting. So we fixed up Emmett. And as soon as you do this, they're, they're back up to new. If we come back to the um, roster, here he is. Lovely and green. Glitch risk, zero. Okay, let's send someone else in there. Let's put Carmen now. How long is she going to take? It doesn't tell you. It always shows you how long the longest person is. I don't think there's a way to tell. No, there isn't at the moment. If the developers are watching this, that would be nice. It would be nice if you could click on one person and see how long Carmen's going to take rather than Teddy. All right, so... The other building we unlocked was this one, the body shop. Now this is where we go to send someone when they've been killed. So how do you kill them off? When they glitch out, they're not dead. They're just glitched. So let me see if this building has been built. It has. Right. I've unlocked a new building here, the sheriff's office. So let me just take the objective. Ooh. We have a new host code here. Now, I haven't manufactured any new hosts. I've got a load waiting for me. Yeah, so every time you unlock something, we get the narrative. I'll let you what, read those in the game of your thingy. I'm not going to bore you with it here. Okay. So, we can now manufacture this new one. This is a jailbird. Now, notice it's the same color as this one here, Bandit. So, it's the same class of role but it's a different actual role so we'll put her in here we'll manufacture her we'll skip that montana johnson so she has this jailbird interaction she is a brown hat 
Right, I have lots more that I could manufacture. Now this one here, this Lawrence host code, um, I am going to manufacture him to show you what he is. He came as a reward in the email for the pre-registrations. So as far as I'm aware, anybody that plays the game now, starts the game, is going to get this. And he's a very powerful host. I've got plenty of money, so I manufacture him. Skip. So he's a three star and he has five roles. Now I mentioned in the last video that you can never add roles. So when you have a host like this that has a lot of them, they're very, very valuable. But notice that the last two here, they're locked and that's because he's only three stars. If you rank him up to four star, it will unlock this role and then five star will unlock this one. We'll talk about that in another video. It will be a few videos away because the ranking up is, is quite complicated. But just bear in mind, he is a very powerful host. He is on par with Teddy. I'm going to show you again in the host roster. Here is Teddy currently being glitched. You see, he also has five roles. The last two are locked, and that's because he's three star. So, everyone else we have are one star and have just one role. So this is the new Montana Johnson. Okay, now why am I showing you all this? Well, let me go over to the sheriff's office. So now we have two people that want the bandit. We've got a white hat and a brown, I believe Montana was a brown. Okay, now, where I said before, the roles falls into classes. Any host that has a role of the same class as the guest can attempt to fill it. So Montana has the exact matching role. What is it? Jailbird. Yes, it's Jailbird. Okay. So she has a 12. All brand new one star guests start off with number 12. He wants a 13.64. So it's not great. But what happens is as they gain experience and they level up, this number starts to increase a little bit. So that's fine. It's orange, which is fine. But notice that Emmett has popped up here. Now, he doesn't have the Jailbird role. He has a Bandit role, but it's still of the same class. And that's why he's popped up. But he's in red. If I start this interaction, it's going to take 10 minutes. So I'll pause the video and come back. And I will show you what happens. So I'm going to start that. And I'm going to have... I should have done the other one. The wrong hat. But never mind. Okay, Montana. Let's start her over there. Okay, I'm going to pause the video now and I'm going to come back once uh, we've done some bit more diagnosing and once this interaction has finished. Okay, while I'm waiting for that, something else I just wanted to quickly discuss. Um, over in my Mariposa here, if we have a look, try to do these interactions, we'll notice I've only got one Carmen available and she is red. Uh, so she will glitch if I use her and currently my diagnostics room is full. I have the other Carmen in here and Teddy. So I have to wait and that's where it's useful to have duplicates of a particular character. Now I haven't manufactured these. I've been kind of waiting to go through them for an opportunity to use them in the video and here it is. So we've got another gambler role here. So I'm going to go ahead and manufacture her so I can use this new one so that I can still go through and perform the interaction with the guests while I'm waiting for the existing ones to go through diagnostics. Uh, I forgot to look at what hat she was, this new one, but it doesn't matter. She's a black hat, and I think, were they both brown? They're both brown, so it doesn't matter. But you see, now her glitch risk for this Carmen is zero, so I can go ahead and start. If I use the other Carmen, she will glitch, and that will take much longer to diagnose, so I'm not going to use her for the sake of one interaction. I'm going to wait. Now, I heard a little beep. Oh, that's probably this. The little beep means that something's finished. It could be something down here in Delos, or it could be something up here. Um, before I do that, let me just see if I have any Emmets ready. I do. Here's a brown hat. They're both white. So I'll just go ahead and start him. Okay, back over to the Mariposa. So, what's this, Carmen? 
That's the new one. Okay. No, it's not a new one. It's a different one. <laughs> All right. I will pause again now and I'm going to wait until these are done in the sheriff's office. Right. The uh, interactions at my sheriff's office are complete now. So we can see just by these icons, we have a sad face over here and a kind of a mm, okay face. So let's do this one first. So Montana Johnson, she leveled up. Now, did you notice that went dim, dim? She leveled up twice. She went from 1.01 .01 to 1.03. And notice the XP is quite a lot. Uh, higher than they were getting in the Mariposa and that's because of the length of interaction the ones in the sheriff take 10 minutes every building has interactions of different lengths and the longer they are the more rewards you'll get the more XP the more coins everything all right so let's click on this guy here Emmett so here's the one we sent in with a red so we notice we've got no rewards. It was only 27% red, bad face. <gasps> the host died! He's been shot! Okay, so you can't use him until you send him to the body shop. And there's a cost. These materials, which I'll cover in another video. Okay, so one question you might be wondering is... This is the body shop down here. So now he's being repaired and it's going to take just under six minutes. So you might be thinking, well, why would anyone die? Because you can tell by the interaction here what it's going to be. So we can see if we send this other Emmett here, he's also going to die. And as you get no rewards for it, there's, there's no point, right? What colour hat have we got here? Montana Johnson. Right, let's send her... To do this one so you might be wondering why would you do that and there's really only two reasons that I know of well three two of which I'll cover in this video one of them is um, where are we auto task one of them is an objective as actually asks you to so here we've got once we built the body shop it says there repair one host through the body shop and I can't complete this objective until somebody dies and I can repair them and there's another reason, um, which actually I will, I will talk about in another video. So, another thing here on diagnostics that I wanted to talk about, and that is the strategy for diagnosing. Um, and it's also where the body shop plays in as well. What I tend to do, the way I prefer to play, is as soon as they begin to turn so as soon as we get yellow which i think is just 10 percent i will send them to diagnostic straight away the higher they go the worse it gets so i would usually never end up like this with all these reds the only reason that i did was because i carried on playing for a while before unlocking uh for the sakes of the video uh, so I will get all of these guys fixed up of course i've got to wait that half an hour for teddy and um, we're down to 11 minutes now um, so I prefer to play in a preventative manner by constantly diagnosing and preventing the glitches from happening. Now, it is still possible that a glitch can happen randomly at any time. It's pretty rare, though. Generally speaking, I hardly ever see that when I'm diagnosing all the time. But some people play in a different way. They prefer not to spend their time diagnosing and instead they just go ahead and they just let them glitch out and then instead of even diagnosing the glitch, they'll do something like send them over into a building where they know they're going to die and basically send them to their death. And the reason being that, if we recall, repairing only takes six minutes. The diagnostic to fix Teddy took half an hour. So that's another strategy which you could use. Now, I don't like it because one, I, f I don't know, I just prefer to play in a in a more preventative way. But also, at the top here, we've got this happiness rating of the park. And every day you get kind of a little reward. But every time you perform good interactions, this is going up. This You want to keep this in a nice, happy, smiley face. If your hosts die 
it brings down the happiness rating. Now, at the moment, I don't know what this does other than just give you a basic reward every day, which is probably why people don't worry about it. Because I don't think there's any great ramifications if this is low. I don't think it affects performance. So that is another strategy you can use. You can ignore the glitches, send them to their death, and and then repair them but it depends how far along you are in the game see right now i've only got three buildings unlocked and the only character that i can kill off is actually an emmet because you need to have one of the same class so we can't actually kill off any of the gambler hosts but as you play more and you unlock buildings you can do that all right so this has been a fairly long video apologies for that i don't know why i'm apologizing it's probably all going to be long um i'll leave it there Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.